Drag racing has been around since the second car. <laughs> Lyle Greenberg didn't exactly have a normal childhood. And I grew up with it. My dad was one of the guys that that uh, founded the Albuquerque Dragway. Drag racing is in his blood, and his just finished nostalgia funny car named the Cone Hunter is the completion of a lifelong dream. Modeled after a 1978 Corvette, this race car was built with the finest parts and input from people all over the country. The 500 cubic inch supercharged V8 burns nitromethane fuel, which is like liquid dynamite. Nitromethane you know, quadruples the output of an engine over gasoline. Um, this engine here makes about 4,000 horsepower. You know, there's an engine, a, a tube chassis, a chair, not much else. Not much else. These things are, are built for one thing, and that's to accelerate just as fast as you can make it possible. This car shakes so violently while Lyle races it that he needs to be inside a cage this tight just to stay safe as he drives pedal to the metal for 1,320 feet. At this weekend's Firecracker Nationals, Lyle will face off against the only other nitromethane powered dragster in the state, owned by Ray Stringer out of Alamogordo. I, I dreamed about racing a funny car at Albuquerque Dragway my entire childhood, and now I'm doing it this weekend. 38 years ago, 1980, was the last nitro-powered match race at the Albuquerque Dragway, so this weekend's Firecracker Nationals will be historic. On the auto ambush, Eric Green, KOAT Action, 7 News.